What's up, everybody? Uh, so yeah, I have a shirt on that says Silver Jackify <laughs> on it. Um, I think I mentioned in my last video that my wife uh, has gotten into this uh, cricket thing. And uh, she's like, you want me to make you another shirt? And I was like, uh, yeah, can you make me Silver Jackify in Star Wars lettering? And she was like, uh, yeah, I can do that. And so, uh, so yeah, so now I have this awesome shirt that says Silver Jackify. And, uh, but anyway, uh, hope you guys are doing good. I figured, um, I just got in a card, uh, from the Tops Project. Um, I don't know. I, I, I think everyone should pick up one of these just, um, just as a memory of the coronavirus <laughs> pandemic. I think it's just kind of a good, uh, way to kind of remember it by, I guess. But if you guys aren't familiar, uh, Tops uh, hired uh, 20 different artists to kind of do their own version of the most iconic uh, baseball cards of all time. So I think they're doing this throughout the entire year. Uh, so I, had I ended up deciding to get a card. Um, it's not the Ermsey card, by the way, which uh, there's a top, uh, Mike Trout Ermsey card that um, for some reason is really valuable. Um, and here's the card that I decided to get, uh, which is a beautiful uh, Mike Trout card. Obviously, the 2011 Tops update. Uh, this one was done, uh, let's see, by Andrew Thiel. Uh, and so beautiful looking card. I, I also picked up the card with the medallion, uh, but I haven't gotten that yet. But uh, got this uh, in the mail uh, just yesterday. So, um, and then this kind of got me to thinking, you know, with the Trout, uh, the base PSA 10 is now going for $3,000. Uh, no! Which was going for like $1,000 a couple of months ago. So now it's up to $3,000. Um, and just with all the trout craziness, I figured, what the hell, let me do a top 15. Uh, if you guys are familiar with my channel, nothing really new. I got a couple of cards from Mike O that I'll throw into my top 15, but you guys know my top two cards, which I'll show you guys in a second. Um, another thing that I got uh, picked up recently uh, was I got this box uh, of 87 Fleer. Uh, this, this is the cello version. Um, didn't pick it up BBC uh, but, uh, baseball card exchange. I did not get it. It was just like this one, the box looked like this, like a mess. Uh, and I think I did okay. I, I, I don't think it was uh, resealed or anything like that, but I got a stack of cards. I'm going to show you. Uh, and then a bunch of cards that I put into top loaders, uh, including, uh, that Jamie Moyer <laughs> there. Uh, did I hit the Barry Larkin? Did I hit the Jose Canseco? Did I hit the uh, Barry Bonds, the Bo Jackson, uh, I will tell you in just a second. So let me turn the camera around and I'll show you the results of the 87 Fleer and my top 15 Mike Trout cards. All right, guys. So here are the highlights of the 87 Fleer box uh, that I opened. And there you go. <laughs> uh, there's Benito Santiago. So I don't know. I Guys, I was just, um, there's a Dan Plesak rookie. Bobby Thigpen rookie, Andre Dawson. So, I, you know, I, as a kid, I picked up a lot of 87 tops and 87 Don Ross. I had so little 87 Fleer, and I just decided, what the hell, let me pick up some 87 Fleer uh, to add to my collection. Maybe I'll hit, uh, like, a really nice Bo Jackson or Barry Bonds or Barry Larkin, Um I noticed uh, it, was, it wasn't until after I bought the box that I realized that Mark McGuire is part of Fleer uh, update, uh, update. So uh, unfortunately, I obviously cannot hit a uh, Mark McGuire. And, you know, part of the, the kind of uh, the thought there was, you know, with the documentary coming out, maybe I could hit a really nice McGuire. Uh, not that it's his rookie. I guess it's, I guess it's technically would it be a, a third year card? <laughs> Cause uh, McGuire had that 85 tops card and then 86 Fleer and then 80 and then 87. So uh, they have Devon white, a um, bunch of rookies. Uh, it's a nice looking card. Canseco, Puckett and rice. Uh, let's see. 
Fernando Valenzuela and John Franco, uh, Juan Samuel and Tim Raines, uh, Wade Boggs and Keith Hernandez, Phil Negro, another Bobby Thigpen, Ozzy Guillen, Dusty Baker, Fernando Valenzuela, Don Sutton, uh, Burt Blylevin, Kevin Elster, <laughs> which was like, I just remember him uh, in 87 Tops having that big Future Stars thing on there. So I don't know. So I put it aside. And Gary Carter. I don't know. I, I really like this set. I don't know. I'd love to hear what you guys think. Uh, do you do you really like 87 Fleer as much as I do? I, I love all three, 87, Don Ross, Tops, and Fleer. Uh, they're three of my favorite sets. Uh, Dave Winfield, Dave Parker, Chuck Finley, Freddie Lynn, Dale Murphy, Oral Hershiser. You got to have Bip Roberts, right, guys? <laughs> and Dan Plesak. Uh Obviously, uh, remember, you know, I know Dan Plesak probably from the MLB network more than anything else. Uh, so two Tommy Johns, known for the surgery. <laughs> That's kind of sad that he's just now just surgery. Whatever you think of Tommy John. Uh, Mitch Williams, the wild thing. Got two two of his rookie cards. Uh, Chris Chambliss. Corey Snyder. I remember uh, this used to be a huge card back in the day. Uh, talk about one of the big overhyped prospects back in the day. How did he do that, that first year? 87. Indians. 24 home runs, 69 RBIs. Man, that is a nice first year for Corey Snyder. Goose Gossage. You can see there's a lot of du duplicates. I just showed you uh, Benito Santiago. So I had three Benito Santiago's, at least two Tom Seavers, although I think I had three of them. There's the Magic Mets from 86. Carter, Fernandez, Gooden, Hernandez, and Strawberry. That's really cool. Card, uh, Don Sutton and Phil Necro. Then you got uh, Dr. K, Gooden and Clemens. And you can see that I have that one in the background. And then you have uh, Carter and Clemens, uh, Harold Baines and Jesse Barfield. And then we have Rags, Dave Rigetti and Oss. Ass? Oss? Um, all right, guys, so here are the cards that I put into top loaders. So Jamie Moyer, who pitched, I think, until he was like 70 years old. <laughs> Roger Clemens, it's a nice-looking card there. Uh, Tony Gwen, Reggie Jackson, when he's with the Angels. Cal Ripken, Ryan Sandberg. Uh, got two Ricky Hendersons. And I've noticed uh, Ricky's cards have been climbing uh, lately. Uh, Pete Rose, two of those back when he uh, was played first base, was the manager, and was betting on his team all at once. <laughs> Kirby Puckett, uh, Wade Boggs. By the way, guys, I I'd love to see um, if you guys notice. I just got a brand new, the brand new iPhone 11. That's where I'm filming, and I I've been filming all my videos on my iPhone. Uh, and the I had the iPhone 10. Now I'm on the iPhone 11, and uh, I got to be honest with you, this camera, it, it, I don't know, the video on this looks pretty spectacular. So I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on that. But uh, Robin Yount uh, and then two Wally Joiners. And it, <laughs> you guys are probably laughing that I top loaded a Wally, two Wally Joiners. But uh, I don't know, these were big cards back in the day. And uh, I don't know, it's just kind of fun to, you know, put cards like this into top loaders. They just look so much nicer. Uh, two Pete and Cavill, speaking of. Cards that probably don't deserve to be in top loaders. Pete Incavillia, uh, John Crook, uh, Ruben Sierra, the cat, Andres Galarraga. And I know these, like, you know, a lot of these guys had rookies in, like, 86 tops traded, but oh well. Uh, Nolan Ryan, I still look at them as rookies. This is one of the coolest cards in the set. Don Mattingly and Daryl Strawberry. Love it. Uh, Sluggers from the left side. And there he is. I, I don't think I've ever owned this card before. This is the uh, obviously the base uh, Don Mattingly. Uh, I did hit two Will Clark rookies, so I was definitely happy about that. The only problem is, um, I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's like little bubbles there, and they're on both of the cards, which, uh, I don't know, it's just kind of annoying. 
Uh, and then you have this card uh, of Wally Joyner and Jose Canseco. So sort of two rookies. Um, and then I did hit this really nice look in Jose Canseco. It's a little off left to right. Otherwise, a really nice looking card. Most like... Most cards oh, like up at the top, uh, and I'll show you in a little bit, uh, but this one's actually pretty nice at the top. But usually the hardest thing about 87 Fleer is when you turn it over on the top of that card, just the white that usually shows at the top. And this one I, I, I thought looked pretty good. Um, and then I did hit one Barry Larkin. I did not hit a single Bo Jackson, so that sucked. Uh, but I did hit two really nice-looking uh, Barry Bonds, and then just to kind of show you what I was just talking about, so look at that. So you can see that very clearly, the white there, and then the white on, on this one's not as bad on this one as it is just because that corner there. Um, but unfortunately, this one has that little bit of white there too. But anyway, um, two really, really nice looking cards, and you know, when you're uh, buying a, a box of 87 Fleer, um, if you could hit two Barry Bonds, that is pretty awesome. So, all right, uh, now the top 15 Mike Trout card. I don't like sand. It's coarse and rough and irritating, and it gets everywhere. All right, guys, so part of the reason why I'm showing off some of these cards is I got them from my uh, fellow YouTuber, uh, Mike O. Uh, bought a couple other cards from him, uh, including uh, this beautiful Brandon Duckworth <laughs> and uh he sold me this for two dollars and uh I don't know I, we were we were just kind of joking around I, I don't know um why you get a Brandon Duckworth graded um but I do notice oh, I just noticed this it's numbered to 2001 so maybe that's why uh but uh, you know we I did notice that he is a scout for the Yankees which is kind of cool uh but there is the Brandon Duckworth Spend the whole video talking about that card. Um, another card that I got from him, uh, the Vlad Jr. update and a PSA 10. This is the rookie debut. Really nice looking card there. Uh, also picked up from him uh, this Johnny Padres. The beautiful card from this, this card. It might be the card that I was most excited about. Uh, 59 tops, Johnny Padres. Uh, this guy was the, uh, the MVP of the uh, 1955 World Series. The only championship for the Brooklyn Dodgers uh, before they left for LA in 1957 so it's a beautiful looking card a PSA 8 and they got it for you know I thought pretty cheap uh, and then also got this from Mike uh, this is the Lewis Robert uh, the mega box uh, in an SGC 9 which could be a crack out candidate one day, but um, I don't know. After further thought, I think I'm just going to leave it in the holder. It looks really nice in there, especially in the uh, the SGC with the black in the background. So it's a beautiful card. So uh, and then with the the trout cards, um, just to kind of go through it with you guys. So this is I what is this? This one is 2012, right? Yeah, 2012 gold futures. Uh, these are 2013, so this is just the, the base All-Star Game card. Uh, Chasing History, it's a nice looking card. Trout, Harper, Braun, and Kemp, it's like a sticker card. Uh, then you have this, Trout, uh, Beltre, and Cabrera. Gypsy Queen, uh, Bowman Platinum, so I got two of those. Uh, this is 2014, the future is now. 2015, uh, this is just the, the base tops. Uh, you got Cruz, Carter, and Trout there, and the Bowman. 2016, Mike Trout. I uh, don't know what that is, but okay. <laughs> 2017, um, so this is actually a throwback to 2012, but it is a uh, 2000, I don't know what year I'm on now. Um, and then you have the, the tribute uh, and a couple of, uh, and there's the, the base tops and the chrome. So let me just look, look at this real quick. Uh, 2017 tops. Uh, then you have 2018 and so you have the, uh, the base tops. Uh, and then these are from, I believe update. Uh, this is a cool card with Shohei Otani. Was that Justin Upton on the back of that 
golf cart. So I've got a couple of those. Uh, the optic, two optics, star power with him and Pujols, uh, top's finest. And then a card with Aaron Judge, Incarnacion, and Mike Trout. And then you have the 2019. Uh, so this is part of Topps Update, I believe, the All-Star Game card. Uh, that is the uh, just the base Topps. Uh, there's the Chrome and two other cards. And then, of course, the 2020 card. So on to the, the top 15. Um, nothing special, guys. It, you know, it really comes down to the top two cards, but just thought it would be fun to show it off. So these are my top 15. Uh, the Topps Heritage, Mike Trout red uh at number 14 uh this is a card that i just got from uh mike o uh this is the 2018 uh tops chrome mike trout superstar sensations and a psa 10 at number 13 uh is the 2019 finest uh mike trout and a psa 10 uh, at number 12 is this 2013 tops allen and ginter in a psa 10 uh, at number 11 is the 2016 Topps Chrome, Mike Trout, and a PSA 10. It's a nice looking card there. Uh, I believe I'm at 10. I don't <laughs> know for sure. 2018 Topps, Mike Trout, 83 All Star Blue. Uh, not numbered, but I, I believe that's a parallel. Um, at number 9 is this 2016 Topps Archives in a PSA 10. At number eight is this uh, Topps Living, and another card that I got from Mike O. I've never owned a Topps Living card, but I have to say this one's pretty nice looking. So really nice looking card there. I believe that's a throwback to the uh, 53 Top set. Uh, next up is the 2015 Topps Finest in a PSA 10. I also got the uh, the Sapphire. I don't know what number I'm on at this point. <laughs> the Topps Chrome Sapphire, which eventually I'd like to send off for grading. But uh, beautiful looking card there. I think I picked this up for like 40 bucks a couple months ago. Uh, so nice looking card. Love the Sapphire cards. Uh, then we have, uh, let's see, this would be number five. Uh, this is the 2012 Topps Opening Day. I've noticed uh, that uh, the 2012 cards have been rising a lot. I guess, you know, people are getting priced out of the 2011. So people are now after the 2012. Uh, and then you have, uh, so that's the opening day and that's the top. So it's exactly the same card, except one's opening day and one's tops, uh, both in a PSA 10. Uh, and then the top three cards that I have for Mike Trout are, uh, this, the 2013 Topps Chrome Update, uh, I have this, uh, the black, uh, numbered to 99. I used to have the gold, the exact same thing, gem mint 9.5, but I gave it away. <laughs> I also gave away um, the 2011 Topps Update Trout, this card, which is at number 2. Um, I used to have like the base version of it in a BGS nine, but I also give, <laughs> gave away that card as part of a, an epic giveaway. And then of course, number one is the, uh, 2009 Bowman Chrome, uh, in a PSA 10. So these two cards just wanted to show them off one more time, just because I could. <laughs> and I picked up a bunch of cards from my go and, um, also picked up this, uh, really cool 2020 tops project. So anyway, long video. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I know I enjoyed putting this video together and opening some 87 Fleer and showing you guys some of my trout cards. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I'd love to hear what you guys think of the, uh, the tops project set. Have you bought any? What are your thoughts about it? Uh, thanks for watching guys. And I will talk to you later. Peace.